we start our pork shoulder off by just kind of taking a look at it. You know, it looks good. It does have a bit of a fat cap here that I really don't need. And I'll tell you why. Because at the end of the day, on this pork shoulder, there's enough fat in here that I really don't have to worry about it. So I'm just gonna trim that off. Could I leave it on? Absolutely. Do I want it on? Eh, doesn't matter. But I'm gonna take some of it off. This I'm just gonna cube up. And they're gonna be fairly good sized cubes. And the reason being is when these things are heating up, they're gonna shrink. But like I said, they've already got enough fat in here that I don't need to add any more really at this point. And the last one. Excellent. Let's throw them into this pan here. All right, so these are our pan. We're going to get them ready to put on the smoker. I'm going to show you how. You can use whatever binder you want, but I'm going to use some EVOO. Let me just pour a little bit over. All mixed in together. Excellent. All right, for our seasoning, I'm going to go with some Uncle Steve's Competition Pig Powder. But if you don't have anything fancy like Uncle Steve's or Meat Church or anything like that, guess what? Use salt, pepper, garlic, onion, the four seasons. You're going to come out just fine. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's, you know it's going to taste great. All right, we've got a nice coat. We're not done. Because now we're going to put on some Uncle Steve's smoke bomb. It's got some smoked paprika in it and all sorts of nice goodies that the dude loves. Oh, yeah. And get, you know what? Get in there and get a good coating. Don't be shy. That's just nothing but flavor. Our pork butt's ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna turn the smoker on to about 325 degrees, and then we're gonna put them down on the smoker and let these things just sit. Our smoker's up to 325 degrees. Now it's time to put our pork shoulder on here, AKA burnt ends. But here's the thing, I have a pan underneath that looks just like this that I'm gonna put these on. And what I'm trying to do is capture the drippings you know, the fats and everything that come off of these. That way I can use them here in a little bit. I'll show you when we get to that point. Right now, let's just put these onto the smoker. Cook them up at 325 for 45 minutes. At that point, we'll take them off and we will look for that magic number of 165 for these. Once we hit that 165, then we take them off. All right, our time is up. Let's check the temperature on our burnt ends. Damn near perfect. Coming in great. What I want to do now is take out that pan that's below it. Just start putting these in. All right, let's finish these up. Give you kind of a close up look at these. They look really good, seriously. Amazing. So, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water in here. Not a lot, but I could add apple juice if you wanted, that would be okay. I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar. Get it all stirred up in there. Get everything flipped. We're using some sugar-free G. Hughes's honey barbecue sauce. Just gonna liberally put it on. And I'm not shy about this, although I do need some left for the end. 
Another thing I want to do is I want to put on some more Uncle Steve's smoke bomb. I said earlier, if you don't have the smoke bomb, just use SPNG and throw some more on. And you notice I'm not giving you measurements. The reason why is what's the point? We all need to do what works for us. And at the end of the day, it kind of comes down to experimenting. What best works for you? We've got a nice solid foundation of juice in there for this thing to cook in. This is really what we're going to do. Move our white Russian out of the way. Move our white Ukrainian, sorry, out of the way. Seal this up. We're gonna put this back on the smoker, then we're gonna crank the heat back up to three and a quarter and give it about a half an hour. Take a look at it. Somewhere around 205 is what we're looking for because once we hit that 205, this is coming out, taking that top off and finishing it up. Up. I just checked these and the ones that I checked are coming in at about 203 to 207, which is perfect. Let's take them off. Man, that aroma, whoo, baby. These are some good looking burnt ends. We're not done yet though. That's the crazy part. We're not done. It's time to stir them up, but they're so tender already. But I really think it's going to be that last half hour that's really going to put these things over the top. And one of the things that we're going to do, which a lot of other people do earlier, but I like to do it at the very end, so I'm going to add a whole stick of butter. Not like just chuck it in there. But I'm going to cut this thing up, throw it in. My white Ukrainian. That butter. It's just going to give it a little extra flavor. The butter makes everything better, right? Come on. You know that as well as I do. We're going to put it in there for 30 minutes. Take them off, cool them, give them a try. All right. Well, we're we'll back in a few. We'll put these back down. That butter's already melting, by the way. Our 30 minutes is up. I think it's just time to take these off and let them rest. Give them a little bit of a stir over here. These are looking good. Yeah, I think you're gonna like it. So I'm gonna shut this off. All right, it's time we let our burnt ends rest. Grab yourself a white Ukrainian or a beer, or whatever. Partake in it. We'll give these about 15 minutes to rest and then we will sample them. All right, see you in a moment. What I love about our burnt ends is, what is a burnt end? Just like I said at the beginning, what is a burnt end? Well, who knows? I'm sure somewhere along the way somebody said, hey, this is what a burnt end and that's what I'm doing. But I'm telling you, that's damn good. Now here's the deal. This is I mean, there's a lot of juice to this. A boatload of flavor. Oh my goodness. But if I want some extra sauce, guess what? I'm gonna put some extra sauce down. And look how they just come apart. Boom. I'm gonna dip it through that extra sauce. Mm. <laughs> totally in heaven. But it gets better. Remember the juice that we had? Well, I have a thing full of juice right here. Now this juice is a combination of the barbecue sauce we used, the fats, the juices we used, the water. Mm. Oh good. You can have these three ways. By themselves, dipped in your favorite barbecue sauce, which you also put over the top, or in the juice. Actually, you could have it four ways. Barbecue sauce and juice. There you go. If you guys think about it, and if you've made it this long, for one, congratulations. Number two, tell me what you think about this. I mean, this is a pork shoulder that I used and made it into burnt ends. 
It may not be your typical burnt ends, but guess what? I'm cooking for you and me. I'm not cooking for some judge at a KC competition or anywhere else. I'm cooking for you and me. And if you were going to come over to my house, this is exactly what I would cook you. It takes a little bit of time, but I'm telling you, you're not going to walk away disappointed. Me? Slather it up in that juice. Mm. Finger looking good. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Take care, guys. Peace. Hang loose. See you on the next episode. Bye.